Good morning, afternoon, night. This is We Are Not Prepared, and we are your hosts, Byron and Mark Ivey. This is Byron Jackson and... Hola, mi amo Marco. Hello, mi amo Marco. And welcome to We Are Not Prepared. Hey, that was pretty good. Finally, we got our queuing on. I don't know. Good, good morning, Mark. Good, good morning. We have... Can well, I introduce our guests? I'm going to just let you go with this. Your own, Roll, Betty. Roll. Okay. Today, Byron and I have two guests. That we plucked out of thin air on our walk down to the <laughs> studio. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for some, you may know her as Cat the Kid, Kit Cat, Fat Cat with PH, or as of lately, Bodega Cat. Put your hands together for Caitlin Hamilton. Yeah. And we also have the proud owner of a, of a dinosaur named Gary. Shelby <laughs> Summers, everybody. Oh Lord. Okay, I have one question. All right, now get out. Okay, bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have a question. Are our guests either blind or black? Whoa. No, but we are no. women. They we are, are women. women. So okay. And we do wear glasses, Sorry, so we do have some here. sort of low vision going on. This is what I'd like. They're coming in spunky. Yeah. Yeah, pulling the women card already. I know. I mean, we had our own little show here, Black Man, Blind Man. We're finally, we're finally making some noise. And we, you bring two women in, and they trump us. And then the two yep. white women just sling their Gucci perches over the <laughs> over the fence <laughs> and come on down to join us. Say, but what about us? Well, we wel- matter. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Why? What do you? Why? Why? <laughs> why? What? Why any anything? of those? Answer any of those. Why? What? Where? Tell us about yourself. Let's start with Miss Caitlin. You can say anything. I just forgot everything about myself that I've ever known. I mean, isn't that how it always goes? Um, I work with Mark. Uh, I feel like I'm his personal assistant some days. No. I'm the world's most amateur terrible putter. You're a bad putter. I'm a bad putter. Um, I have two dogs. And up until you started working at New View, the leading employer of the blind and people with low vision, you did not like blind people. But now that you've gotten to know one, I like, like them even less. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, so that's what we have a laugh track. Is that why you all laughed at that? Yes. Because that was rude. This is a this is a safe place in here. <laughs> We're not making fun of folks. Anywho, Shelby. Yes. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm Shelby. I also work with Mark and Caitlin and just upstairs from Byron. I do have a dinosaur named Gary. He's my emotional support dinosaur. We love him. Um, I don't know. What do you want to know? I made a hole in one the other day. I did make a hole in one the other day. The first time I did the little putt-putt thing. So that was fun. We take putt. Everyone that comes into my office has to take a putt on the putting green to dictate how their day will go. I have a lot of bad days. Or if you have like something like if you're on a trip and you're about, you know, you're, you're flying out the next morning, you got to take a putt to see if your plane will stay in the air or crash. Oh, wow. So it gets real serious, you know. I have something similar in my office. It's well, a it's a pot, though. A pot. Like a toilet. Oh. And so you have to take a pot before you can leave. So you, you sit down on it? Yeah. Okay. Um, th- then what? What are the possible outcomes? Yeah. Does it break? Dang. So you're saying you have a toilet <laughs> that doesn't work in your office that you make people sit on and stare at you before they can leave? Yes. Hmm. What an interesting vibe that is. Very interesting. Thank you. Now, you possibly have like an HR department? <laughs> I feel like we need to give this a try, though. Yeah. Yes. I'm in trouble with HR all the time. <laughs> If there's a podcast HR person, I'm gone. They will be calling us after episode three releases. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, were you were you guys popular in school? No. Good. You're in the right place. <laughs> 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 Neither were Mark and I. We look good. I actually used to hang around. Dude, I was Johnny High School. What are you talking about? Okay, except Mark. <laughs> 
I'm holding on to those. But I I used to hang around, like with the cool guys. But I wasn't with them. But I would just go stand by them. So, so you wanted to be. So if you drove by, you would think I was with the cool guys. You were cool adjacent. But they kept like just cool, looking, cool going adjacent. I yeah. like that. Yes, they were going. Who the hell is this guy that comes and stands here every He's day? He's kind of close to them. Yeah. He's not really talking to them, but he's, he is in the room. He's. I am in the room, and so. That's half the battle. Okay. Now, I was you? I was cool kid, but I thought I made it. I I wanted to make it cool to not always hang out with the cool kids. Like, I had friend groups that they did not have. They did. Yeah. They had an open line to me. I have an open line to everyone. Even before I lost my vision, always root for the underdog. And now it's your whole personality. The entire. Yeah. Now, before we were started, you guys had brought up the subject of bullying, which, so I have a question. Yes. Cat, Cat is that okay to call you that? That is. Shell, is that okay to call Absolutely. you that? Absolutely. Okay. Shell? Shell. Like the oil shell. company? Yes. Yes. All right. Like Marcel the Shell. Ooh, yes. Do you think the Beautiful. term... Bullying has anything to do with the natural bull. Shall we? No. I don't see why it would. I could see why it would. Why? Because bulls are not very nice. Well, yeah, no, but, but are we you are we them. bullying the bull that's though? Fair. And they're reacting? Like is that like that's, you're picking on the wrong kid, you know? That, but that's how I feel about bulls. Like if you go and actually watch them do the whole bull thing, like we're being mean to the bull, the bull is retaliating. That's true. So I don't think an actual bullying. I know when I was bullied, I definitely wasn't doing anything to instigate anything. So you were bullied? Oh, yeah. Where did you grow up? Uh, Southern California. And the- in, uh, Riverside County, little itty bitty town called Hemet. Now, who bullied you? Uh, just various kids in school. So, I mean, I didn't have a specific bully. When do you first recall getting bullied? Uh, Second grade. Third grade. And what, to what... Um- what was the act of bullying? Uh, okay, so I was going down the slide. Oh, this is mean. I was going down the slide and somebody, am I allowed to curse on this or no? Somebody called me a fat A on the slide. And then they kind of followed me around the playground and just kept saying that over and over and over Oh, again. man. Yeah. In second grade? In third grade. I third was, grade? Yeah. And that was actually in Vegas. So I lived in Vegas for a little bit and then moved back to California. That's brutal. I know. I'm sorry. I was like, it was just the slide, guys. Did nope. you ever... Um, like, did you talk to your parents about it? or No, my parents were going through their own thing. I definitely kept a lot of stuff to myself. Wow. So. And yours was second grade? Mm-hmm. Do you remember? I do. Um, I, so, <laughs> I was in the gifted and talented program. I believe that. Um, which actually kind of means, like, a diagnosed ADHD as an adult, but it's okay. Yes. Um so I was very smart and I read a lot. Like I was the only kid who went to the pizza party because I read so many books. Say um, <laughs> one person party. And yeah, it's it was. 15, but it was the whole it's been pizza. fifteen seconds and this story makes me want to bully you right now. <laughs> I had uh, a one on one lunch with my second grade teacher Love because this. I was the only one who got the pizza party. Um and yeah, my you're going to the trash can for sure. My, I was put in a trash can. We'll get there, sorry. <laughs> my teacher asked me to read out loud to the class and a few boys in the class made fun of me and they were, they called me a nerd and they called me a teacher's pet. Um because I was uh, because I I was asked I didn't do anything. I was just asked to read out loud to the class and uh my teacher my second grade teacher it was traumatizing at the time but now I appreciate it. She would not let me say it's okay. She was like if you say it's okay they're going to think it's okay to do it again. Oh, so right. it was a I forgive you not a it's okay. So When's the last time you got bullied? Um, every this day morning. when I work with you, Mark. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> 30 seconds ago. <laughs> now, have you ever the had... The blind bully. <laughs> have you ever had bosses that were bullies? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Not here. Yeah. But yeah, not in Newview or possibilities in this building. <laughs> I've had I've had a bully boss who shall rename nameless, but, you know, at some point I just ended up making... I attacked with love, actually, Mr. Byron, but sometimes I feel like it was almost in an obnoxious way just because. Obnoxious love. Yeah. That's how I would handle handle wanting to be angry. I'd just be, like, obnoxious or whatever. <laughs> we, used to, <laughs> we used to have these meetings, and uh, 
and I, anyone who knows uh, the, my coworker, she's not here anymore, but we both would always laugh at like Billy Madison and Adam Sandler. We, and Adam saying, we wash your shit. We, we even like talk like that. And so I would just randomly do it in the, in the, in the meeting. She'd be like, Mark, what? And be like, wash that who? And she'd just look at me and be like, what? That was your bully? No, that was me just retaliating, just being a, a, a goober. What was your boss like, show, Shelby? Uh, they bullied subtly, so they were pretty high up in the company. Uh, I don't want to give a lot of information out because okay. I don't want it to come, you know, back yeah. or anything. Um, but they would do it subtly through different things. So they did it, especially about weight. Weight was the biggest thing. So they'd be like, you need to be healthier. You need to do this. You need to do that. And then other people would get invited to go to do things, but I would be left out of those events, even though I, there were only a handful of us, like an administration or whatever, I would be left out of those events. And so would another girl because we were both overweight. So all of my bullying tends to circle around my beautiful body babies. So, <laughs> so people get, so, so they would go to different like outings with like, he'd be like, okay, we're going to do this. And he would take a X amount of people, but they would be the people that were, were in his in group, I guess is the yeah. easiest way to say it. So you always knew, who he was going to choose. And then I watched him get rid of people because of their weight and things like that. Good so, night. Yeah. So, so pe it's okay for people to make comments then about your weight. I mean, That's, I make the comments the, first. But I mean, part of the bullying is people will make comments Oh, yeah, about, make comments, subtle comments about weight. And about like your weight. how unhealthy you are and all this Ugh. stuff. And I'm like, hi, friend, I keep up with you just as well as anybody yeah. else so and that started when you were in third grade mm -hmm. well i started younger than that because my mom made comments and then it would gradually just the outside world also started bombarding me with it so not to bring all this back to me but it's all i always get <laughs> i guess i get so uncomfortable and angry when i hear about especially my friends bully stories yeah like that's just drink it's your frustrating. drink your water over there right. and just take a breath. Cat. Yes, Byron. Thank you. <laughs> back back to you. So you were bullied at work too. Yes. But was it over your weight? No. Okay. It was over your gifted credentials. It was over my inability to remember to uh lock my drawer. So it was a position where I needed to lock my things behind me whenever, like, any time I left the room. So if I went to the restroom, I needed to remember to lock my drawer. Um, and I forgot to lock my drawer, like, the first or second week that I was at the job. And my manager hid my keys from me. Um, so when I came back, I could not get into my drawer. And I was like, what is happening? And she was like, I don't know. What's happening? <gasps> and, like, didn't tell me. For a little bit that like she had locked it and hid my keys from me could that so be I was, a like, joke gone wrong anything. no it was okay. intentional it was like don't forget to do this again so she would do oh that. was it like your first time i yeah. get what you're saying yeah. wow yeah she would do like <gasps> passive aggressive little yes. stuff to you yeah rude so what was your um actually both of you what do you think the res resiliency skill you had that's helped you to overcome that. Would you like to go first? Sure. Um, so I feel, I think that, and Byron, you, I know you agree with me on this. I, I think that when someone is bullying someone else, it says a lot more about them than it does about the person that they're bullying. Like obviously that manager had her own issues to yeah. make her be oh, yeah. rude to a 17 year old girl. Um, so it was, it's not about me is kind of what I've come to the conclusion of. That's a good conclusion. And like I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but you don't have to be mean. But does that no. does that line does that mindset only work as you mature and get older? Yeah, no. It's oh, yeah. when you're in it, it's brutal. Like there's no you can't convince me of anything right. else, but it's absolute hell and yes. then you figure out what you're talking about, yeah. you know, in yeah. the aftermath yeah. of yeah. yeah. Once you get through it, yeah. Oh yeah. I agree it's with that wholeheartedly. Too. It's so interesting with you just because your personality of meeting you and encountering you, I always want to know more about you. But I always want to be very um, like I want permission. 
with you. Some people I just kind of go, like with Mark, I go, tell me about yourself, blind man. Mm -hmm. Where with you is much more uh, cautious. And Why? I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. That is interesting. I'm an open book. You are? I am. Okay. Shelby is too. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I talk about anything and everything. So I feel like, Shelby, I think that that comes from having been bullied. I think so too. Like, you don't ever want to make someone feel the way that you Absolutely have been made to not. feel. And like I was saying, I make the jokes first mm -hmm. because, like, if I make the joke first, then nobody else you have can. power over it yes, yes. i'm the one making you laugh yes. about it yeah. so i'm like ha 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 you can't use that against me I oh sorry i just hit my no. um uh yeah exactly yeah, i do that with my anxiety as well same and I'm my like, adhd yep yep i'm like if i bring it up first yep. and i own it then you don't have it doesn't have power over me exactly yeah. i get to control this mm -hmm. you have no control over me mm -hmm. whatsoever that so, helps a lot somehow shelby made me die laughing about is the darkest set. Like I said, happy birthday to you or something. Oh God. <laughs> and I was like, I said, it was like, it was your birthday. Yeah. I'm, and I was like, happy birthday, something about your day, whatever. And you're like, something like, yeah, it's like, I don't get my hopes up. They're never that great. And I, I said something else to like further. And then you start telling me about the, your <laughs> history, yeah. your, your nightmare birthday. <laughs> and they're not funny. But <laughs> they're not, but you have to laugh at it sometimes. Cause it's just like, Tell, tell us about some of your birthdays. Oh, yeah. gosh. I don't know. One year, my 16th birthday, my uncle had died. So, like, we were getting ready for a funeral. Um, it's not funny. It's not funny. But also, why are you making people year, laugh about it? Because, because if I don't laugh at it, I'll cry. Okay. Next, birth <laughs> next birthday. Um, a couple years ago, my sister got in a car accident. Yep. So, like, I had to go help her with that. Uh, oh, no. One year, I had to take another sister to a hospital. Did you have to like, get someone midnight. out of jail or something? Uh, or? My dad went to court on my 16th oh. birthday. 16 was a bad year. On my 16th birthday, you drove he your woke, dad me to court. <laughs> woke me up at like they were at the court outside. Right. He's, right. He's, right He's like, so I might not be back today. I'd like to see you open your gift. And I was like, half asleep, like, okay. And so I'm like opening it. He got me a PSP, which he later ended up breaking by accident. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, and then he's like, all right, kiddo, I love you. Hopefully I'll be back later. Hopefully. <laughs> like, don't forget, watch your sisters, make sure they eat. Bye. And I'm oh like, my oh my gosh. gosh. That's more than any 16 year old should ever be responsible <laughs> for. Did he come like, home? He did come home. Hey he did come home that time. Happy birthday. He comes in. Happy birthday. <laughs> he did. He did. He when is your birthday? He broke July the 18th. PS1. Okay. <laughs> he came in so, and broke the PS1. Yeah, he came in and he never got me a new one. He's like, I'll get you a new one. I'm like, here I am, like 15 so, years later. I'm like, Pops, where's Every the birthday, Shelby's like, Dad. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> so one of your resiliency skills then, Shelby, is uh, humor. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Now, have you ever wanted to be a stand-up comedian? Absolutely not. Really? <laughs> no, because all of my humor comes in the moment. And mm -hmm. stand-up comedians, I feel like you need to practice that. Like, I can't just stand up while well, I am in this room. But, like, I can't just stand <laughs> up in front of you and, like, just make you laugh over stuff. It just... it. It's natural. It has to be a conversation. You yeah, can ramble on a podcast and be hilarious. I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, in the moment, absolutely. But I don't know, a group of people, standing up in front of people. I did theater, and I hated being on stage. I was a backstage person. Okay. Okay. Um, that that's, we could that's, talk forever. I know. That's how, it's Thanks. amazing how quick this goes. It, it is, yeah. yeah. It's just you think, oh, how will I do 20 minutes and then? <laughs> well, we should start <laughs> even maybe doing like. Traumatic memories. <laughs> we could even do keep going like doing 40 and then just have two episodes. You are, I was going to say, as a content creator, anytime you can get multiple uses out of one. You have not created crap. Ooh, bullying. Ooh, I just called it. As a content how rude. creator. Okay, make a joke. So. <laughs> That's not how this works. There's a bullying moment. Please. Sorry. We could do a reenactment here. There's like Ooh, a bullying like moment. Yeah. You guys, I, thank you very much for being on. The word not prepared. Prepared. How has this been for you, Kat? Great. Thanks for and having us. Thank you. And you, Shelby? Absolutely. 100% would recommend. Yeah. I'll come back if you want. You guys, yeah. I was going to say I'd like to have you back. Absolutely. In fact, yeah. I, you keep saying we don't want to end. Nah, we're having too much fun. Mark is like glaring at me. Mark's like, I'm just thinking out. about just if, if I wasn't blind and I could find more people to bully, I'd be the biggest bully of all time. It's okay. True. Thank you guys very much for being here. This is Byron Jackson and Mark Ivy. And we are not, not prepared. prepared. <laughs> hey. Bye, guys. Bye.